The U.S. military carried out new strikes in Yemen on January 16 against anti shi ballistic missiles in a Houthi controlled part of the country as a missile struck a Greek owned vessel in the Red Sea. Disruptions to Red Sea shipping caused by Houthi attacks will push up prices of consumer goods in Europe, in particular, an executive from port and freight operator DP World said as the impact on commerce increased. The Iran allied Houthi militia has threatened to expand its attacks to include U.S. ships in response to American and British strikes on its sites in Yemen. Attacks by the Houthis on ships in the region since November have affected companies and alarmed major powers, an escalation of Israel's more than three month old war with Palestinian Hamas militants in Gaza. The Houthis say they are acting in solidarity with Palestinians. The White House said additional U.S. strikes on January 16 took out ballistic missiles Houthis were ready to launch. Confirming a Reuters story earlier, citing U.S. officials that a new strike was launched at four anti-ship missiles. The strike had not been previously reported. We're not looking to expand this. The Houthis have a choice to make and they still have time to make the right choice, which is to stop these reckless attacks, White House spokesman John Kirby said. Two heads of international banking groups attending the World Economic Forum WEF in Davos said privately that they were worried the crisis might cause inflationary pressures, which could ultimately delay or reverse interest rate cuts and jeopardize hopes for a U.S. economic soft landing. DP World CFO Yuvraj Narayan said he expected disruptions to hit European imports. The cost of goods into Europe from Asia will be significantly higher, Mr. Narayan told Reuters at the annual WEF meeting in Davos. The Swiss ski resort. European consumers will feel the pain. It will hit developed economies more than it will hit developing economies, the Dubai-based logistics company's finance chief added. War risk insurance premiums for shipments through the Red Sea are rising, insurance sources said on January 16. In Spain, four factories owned by French tire maker Michelin are planning to halt output again this weekend. A further sign of the impact of delays in the delivery of raw materials. A multi-flagged Recon bulk carrier was struck by a missile while northbound in the Red Sea 76 nautical miles northwest of the Yemeni port of Salif. A security firm and two Greek shipping ministry sources said. Yemen's Houthis carried out the attack on the ship, the Sogrifia, using naval missiles, resulting in a direct hit. The group's military spokesman, Yahya Surya, said. The Zogrifia was sailing from Vietnam to Israel with 24 crew on board and was empty of cargo when attacked, one of the Greek sources said. There were no injuries, only material damage, the source added. It was still sailing but would probably reroute for safety checks. Underlining concerns, Japanese shipping operator Nippon Yusen, also known as NYK Line, instructed its vessels navigating near the Red Sea to wait in safe waters and is considering route changes, a company spokesperson said. Shipping giant mask However, sent two container ships through the Red Sea carrying goods for the U.S. military and government. Container vessels have been pausing or diverting from the Red Sea that leads to the Suez Canal. The fastest freight route from Asia to Europe. Many ships have been forced to circumnavigate South Africa's Cape of Good Hope in state. About 12% of world shipping traffic accesses the Suez Canal via the Red Sea. British oil major Shell has suspended all shipments through the Red Sea indefinitely after the US and UK strikes triggered fears of further escalation, the Wall Street Journal reported on January 16. Shell declined to comment. Russian tanker group Sovkomflot is also considering alternative routes in case the crisis escalates, TASS news agency reported. Sovkomflot did not immediately respond 
to a Reuters request for comment. European diplomats, said member states of the European Union, had given initial backing to creation of a naval mission by February 19, at the latest to help protect ships. The existing US-led coalition, meant to safeguard commercial traffic in the Red Sea, is weak because regional powerhouses Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates and Egypt have not taken part, Yemen's vice president said on January 16. This Bab al mandab corridor is of interest to the whole world and to the region. So regional intervention is key, Mr. Adris al Zubaydi told Reuters in an interview referring to the narrow strait at the southern entrance to the Red Sea. Mr. Zubaydi's separatist Southern Transitional Council is part of an alliance that opposes the Iran-backed Houthis in Yemen. UN Secretary-General Antonio Guterres spoke with Iran's Foreign Minister Hossein Amrabdelayan on January 15. Mr. Guterres' spokesman, Stefan Dujoric, said on January 16. Regarding the situation in the Red Sea, the Secretary-General reiterated his call to all the parties to avoid any further escalation, Mr. Dujoric said. Saudi Arabia's foreign minister underlined the link between Houthi attacks on commercial ships to the war in Gaza. Prince Faisal bin Fahan al Saud said the kingdom's priority is finding a path to de-escalation through a ceasefire in Gaza.